There are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap. And then there's us. That's a dollar, man. What? Welcome to Oakland. Welcome to Moneyball. Uh, uh, ben Mankiewicz, uh, Christy Lemire, Associated Press, Ebert presents at the movies. Matt Atchity, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Moneyball, by the way, the top 20 baseball movies up on the site yes. on, on Rotten yes. Tomatoes. Yes, Moneyball right is now. not on there yet, but it will be. Uh, yeah, so uh, Moneyball being uh, well received. Uh, 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 Brad Pitt uh, playing, uh, obviously, playing the general manager. It was, all, it was inevitable that there was going to be a movie made about the Oakland A's and about <laughs> Billy Bean. Uh, very hard for me to watch this movie without sort of coming out of my seat. You were the excitement. biggest geek. We saw this movie together and Ben wore his little A's cap and he totally <laughs> star fucked Dave Winfield who was at our screening. He was like, I'm Mr. Winfield. I did not say I'm Mr. Winfield, but he was sitting <laughs> he was sitting in the back row and so I found constant reasons to like take that route out. Like, oh, excuse me. Excuse He's an me, enormous me. dude. Anyway, so this is based on the Michael Lewis book Moneyball. Which people think that Billy Bean wrote Moneyball. This people is like a mis misconception all over the place. But it's, it's about how like the stat geeks rose up and took over baseball and changed the way the players are assessed and acquired. And it would not seem inherently cinematic, but they kind of make it work. Take a look. I need more money. We're not New York. Find players with the money that we do have. I like Perez. Got an ugly girlfriend. Ugly girlfriend means no confidence. You guys are talking the same old nonsense. Like we're looking for Fabio. We got to think differently. Who's Fabio? Your goal shouldn't be to buy players. Your goal should be to buy wins. And in order to buy wins, you need to buy runs. Who are you? I'm Peter Brand. First job in baseball? It's my first job anywhere. We're going to shake things up. Why don't you walk me through the board? I believe there's a championship team that we could afford because everyone else undervalues them, like an island of misfit toys. We want you at first base. I've only ever played catcher. It's not that hard, Scott. Tell him, watch. It's incredibly hard. He can't throw. But what can he do? You want me to speak? When I point at you again. He gets on base. We are card counters at the blackjack table. We're going to turn the odds on the casino. I'm heading in. Text me to play by play. Wait, what? I don't watch the games. This better work. I'm just kidding. It's like a little time capsule because Jonah Hill is still heavy back then. <laughs> yeah. Um, look, there, it, it's impossible for me to sort of professionally uh, judge this movie. Uh, Just this one? Moneyball. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> that was very quick. Was no, but good. you were geeked out going into it. Uh, I was you geeked were, out going into it. <laughs> um, it was, uh, this is like my, uh, you know, I've read this book twice. I read mm -hmm. it when the, when, the, the, when the new sort of forward came out. I just read the whole thing again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is as misunderstood a baseball book as there has ever been. It's still being misunderstood and misreported by incompetent members of the mainstream media right now. Not the Associated Press. No, not We the, know sabermetrics. Look, the man, Associated Press. It's we not about how like the, the A's discovered on base percentage and then won the World Series. A, we didn't win the World Series. Spoiler! <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's a business book about a team at a huge economic disadvantage figuring out that they needed to exploit, find weaknesses in the market and then exploit them to their advantage so they could come close to evening the playing field. I read a piece in uh, Slate, which is good, pointing out that A's didn't win, they won because of the big three, the three starting pitchers and drafting Miguel Tejada and sort of, and it had little to do with the John Jahas and Jeremy Giambis of the world. And the, the book doesn't even suggest that. The book is about exploiting inefficiencies in the market, and it makes economics accessible to a baseball well, fan. The, and the A's did that, and they were creative and bold in doing that. Well, yeah, the book is about the ballsiness of, of daring to upend this very staid right. American cultural tradition. tradition. Right. And you have these scouts who are looking at the, you know a guy's swing or looking what his his body mass is and, and saying that's an indication of, of future success. Right. And uh, got, I, his girlfriend's not pretty. Right, it, yeah, that right. Was, it, it means he that, lacks confidence. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, that was, I loved that. that was, I thought that was hilarious. That's fine. And they keep going like, oh, he's a five-tool guy. He's a five-tool guy. Like the, then you, they ended up acquiring guys who were heavy or maybe like they were banged up and they couldn't throw anymore, but they could play first base or, or whatever. So, yeah, I think people who really know a lot about baseball, who are not totally biased like you are, 
are finding things to nitpick with this. I think it's not really even a baseball no, movie. I'm not. I'm ways. the exact opposite of biased. I love that, but because I, I understand what we're talking about here. You biased because you wanted to like it going into it. No, I'm no, saying. it's not. L leave out the movie. Yeah. It's not the the yeah. things that the nitpicking things about baseball. Yeah. That's fair enough. But it's a movie. You had to turn yeah, it into a movie. And I right. think you're not a huge baseball fan. They managed to make no, this I, economics and baseball story kind of cinematic. No, I really like this movie. I don't follow baseball very much. You know, I'll go to a Dodger game from time to time. I'm not a huge baseball nerd. I'm plenty nerdy in other <laughs> other areas, but not really with baseball. I really enjoyed this movie. It really worked for me. I totally understood what they were trying to show that yeah. Billy Bean and his kind of cadre of people were doing versus the rest of the organization. I really got that. I, I really liked the movie. I, it really worked for me. You know, and the constant battles between uh, Bean and his manager. Uh, I, I really Art liked Al, that. Philip yeah. Seymour Hoffman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is kind of a, a thankless little role for Philip Seymour it Hoffman, is, yeah. who starred in Bennett Miller's Capote, who directed this. Um, he's not really fleshed out at all. He just comes off as like, I don't get it. I'm going to put whoever yeah, I want I'm, in first base. I'm, I'm, not sure what he was, I'm not sure why yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman was in Well, that there's movie. a dynamic yeah. that, that, that Billy Bean and Art Howe had, even though the team was successful, is that, and then the knock on Billy Bean among some baseball people now, uh, among the many knocks, is that he... Uh, that he manages from the general manager's chair, that he tells mm -hmm. the manager how to play things on the field. And, uh, you know, I mean, he acquired... Which you get some of that in you, the movie. You definitely, you definitely get some of that. And it was probably a little simplified. Um, and they butted heads a few times, but they also had, they also had great success. And Art Howe got a big contract with the New York Mets out of it when all was said and done. The stuff that is best about this movie is the interaction between yeah. Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill, who plays like an amalgamation of various stat geeks. I mean, he's Paul the Podesta, but he has other people too. He's Keith Law, whatever. But the back and forth and, and the difference in their personalities and how larger than life Billy Bean was and is and how charismatic and how cajoling and how Jonah Hill is like the brains of the operation and he's like, insecure and almost halting at first, and right. then he finds his confidence as he figures out, okay, what we're, what we're doing, what I know to be right is gonna work, it's gonna be okay. And the band play with the two of them is really fun, and, and it's, it's that good kind of Aaron sorkin -y, yeah, quicky quick dialogue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, that is the best That's part. That's the best part of it. Yeah, and it's fun, and Brad Pitt is sort of, he's, he's you know, there's, a, there's that same charm, and, but there's a, it seems, I don't know. It seems approachable that charm. That's no, like a I, I actually think yeah. it's one of. Yeah. I think that's one of his best performances yeah. in a long time. Like he, mm -hmm. you, you get the charm and the charisma that a general manager like that would probably have, and yet there's almost I don't know if it's a vulnerability. Like you get to see him like. You know, he yeah, has those moments where, like, do, uh, does he, you know, is he doubting what he's doing? Like, you know, you see, re like, he won't go and watch the games, right. and it's. That's you know, all true. That's right. all real. Yeah. Right. I mean, you can see the anxiety in his face and, and just in his mannerisms when no one else is around. You know, during that era, I, I, there were many games I couldn't watch. So I was like, <laughs> I mean, just as a fan, I mean, I get it, he's the general manager, but I couldn't, there were playoff games where as soon as they'd get the Yankees or the Twins or wherever it was about the Red Sox, wherever it was about to beat us, um, in incredibly frustrating five-game fashion, we'd get guys on base, and I'd just be like, I gotta, I gotta go, gotta leave the house, can't watch it. But you are, you are emotionally invested all, in all this in a way that I'm not sure the movie lets us be because I agree. it never feels like it's building toward anything. Yes. I mean, there's there's a lot of problem with a starting and stopping of the pacing. There's a real problem with momentum. I mean, all of a sudden they drop you into this 20 game win streak. And yeah, you don't it, even know it, why that's important yeah. or why that's a big deal. Oh, yeah. I, thought that, I thought that was very clear because I hadn't really known that that was an issue. And when they start talking about, you know, I, I think they do lay out which, you know, that it was a record that nobody had gotten to. And I followed that. I had no problem with that. I felt like that was really no, dramatic. I, I'm not sure like, they dramatized that to the extent that they could because that's like maybe your chief source of drama. Like they don't, oh, totally. they don't win the World Series in no, 2002. Uh, right. They don't even get out of the Division Series. I mean, right. they, so, I'm, get out of I'm sorry, no, baby. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but it's true. Like, but what? Is, in that sense, it's not a traditional sports movie because right. it's not you know the fireworks no, going off in the, the end. Game. They don't win no, the World Series. No, it's no crazy. one's being you know hoisted off the field on anyone's shoulders. Right. Right. You know, so no, I like and that even, about it. And but. even to the point where you know they they get knocked out, and you hear all of the radio stuff where people are saying, yeah, you know, they were wrong, blah blah blah. You know, after Billy saying he wanted to change the game, like that's what he was in for, right? And and to hear. The guy from, you know, when you get to, when he meets with the guy from the Red Sox. John Henry. Like, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. I, I, it worked for me. The movie really, really, I only had a couple minor issues with the movie. Um, you know, the song that his daughter does. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't I didn't buy that a 12-year-old could write that song. Well, that whole um, subplot with the daughter is totally wedged in to try to flesh Billy Bean out outside of baseball. Right. 
and it feels wedged right. in. It feels, it feels a little wedged in. Again, I think Philip Seymour Hoffman was kind of wasted mm -hmm. in the role that he was in, and he doesn't look like Art Howe. He looks like Whitey Herzog. In the movie. <laughs> That's enough of my baseball there you go. Nice you can leave now. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well played. But the thing with John Henry, the meeting with John Henry at Fenway kind of foreshadows the fact that, like, this method works because the Red Sox won the World Series in 2000. Yeah, they were actually already using, doing it to yeah. some extent. The and, Red well, Sox and they worked. hired Theo because Billy Bean wouldn't take the job and, right, and they used was, that methodology and they've won and the Yankees two used it. world championships, Ben. And all the people who praise, <laughs> and all, yeah, you got $200 million. All the people who, uh, who uh, pr uh, suggest that the, the, the sort of the notion that the, this is overstated, Billy Bean's no genius because the A's didn't win, what's their record? Look, the Brian Cashman and Theo Epstein, the Red Sox and the Yankees, they acknowledge that this played a huge role in how we rethink baseball. The scouts didn't get fired. You have to, the key is how to evaluate the information, and you need scouts for that. No one is saying otherwise. Read the freaking book. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a great, the it's a great. The book is really good. So is the big short, yeah. by the way. Yeah, Read the good. big short, he's too. Good. He knows what he's doing, Michael. We should, we should do numbers. All right, numbers, what do you have? Um, 7.8. I had problems with pacing. Uh, I, I think I like this a little bit more than you. I give it a nine. Yeah, I give it an eight point eight. I, I liked it a lot. I'm, I'm biased. Whatever. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's fun. It's a movie. Billy, the star of the movie, is Billy Bean. It's awesome. <laughs> you are the biggest geek. You are like vibrating with glee in your seat. There's Chad Bradford. Is, there's a guy playing Chad Bradford. There's guys playing Tim Hudson. There's Ramon Hernandez. It's ridiculous. Ron Washington is a character in a movie. Ron Washington's very funny in this. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs>